Hey, what's up, everybody? Alf here with some more Ultra League GBL recorded live on Twitch. Uh, we're battling with Verizian again. Not because we want to, because it was part of our charity stipulation uh, from last Friday night's uh, Pokemon Snapathon, uh, where we raised more than $800 for the Rainforest Trust. Really, really cool stream. Uh, really wanted to thank everybody who supported that. Uh, but one of the steps, one of the charities came with a, uh, one of the donations came with a stipulation of play us out with a Verizian lead. So we're doing that. Um, like last time I battled with Verizian, uh, gosh, its typing is really kind of good for what you need in Ultra League, but it doesn't always do the jobs you need it to do because, well, it's Verizian. Anyway, I hope you enjoy these battles, everybody. Uh, I'll see y'all next time. Cheers. Pray. Pray for that. Yeah, Galv is also going to be a bit of a... Galvin talent like those two Pokemon are gonna be really really rough for us and if they're on the same team I think we auto lose I don't literally don't think there's a win scenario for that with this team so we could we could make an adjustment somewhere but I'm just gonna say we owe this for our charity benefit from last Friday let's just pray pray for no talent flame leads Okay, Obstagoon. So, Obstagoon's not great either, but... They have to respect the fact that they're just gonna die to a close combat, so... We should beat Goon. The problem is, is I, I just... How do we... How do we beat Goon? Okay, there's the Cress. So we want, we actually care about switch advantage here, um, relatively significantly. So I am gonna actually shield the first Moonblast. This makes this matchup way more comfortable, um, because like they won't get to land a Moonblast until after a debuff, and because this matchup is going to be a long one, um, I would rather I'd rather do this. And we care about switch advantage quite a lot, so because we can't obviously have the Lapras versus the Goon, so. But if they're on, if they have to straight Moonblast me, then uh, we close the door on most of their win conditions by shielding that first one. Like what? I wouldn't be surprised at all to see some kind of scenario where they switch out of this matchup at some point. Yep, like that. Okay. And get themselves a little bit of a running start here. They also they also put the Verizian in play, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, see, like I should have expected they would just no shield. I think we have a, a week after this of rank a Wonder Woman, and then we'll have uh we will have some time of unranked Kanto Cup. They're still the final week of the season is unranked Kanto Cup again. So yeah, they're not they're not really keen on shielding. And I'm not gonna shield either, so. It's fine. Our downside here is that uh come on, there we go. Get that clutch leaf blade. Get that clutch leaf blade. I I actually like unranked Canto Cup. I will probably play unranked Canto Cup. Oh, they have a Gengar. Well, that's fun. So I think what we do here, we need to be able to soak up some damage. And uh, hopefully get some shields going for them. Yeah, Gengar with shield advantage is pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Um, but I think we have, we have some lines here. The question is, are they going to just straight up? This is the, really the number one ranked team on PV Poke. Well, it's looking hot. I'm not gonna shield and I don't, yeah, we get bald. Although ball doesn't kill us, so like, this will though. All right, so how do we win from here? We, we just let the Lapras go. And we just need RT to do its, we need RT to do its thing. I have a shield still. I do not want to use that shield against this. So I wouldn't be surprised if they no shield this. Oh, that's that's bad though. Okay. 
I think we have to save the shield. I know this feels bad, but like, because it's going to put us in Shadow Claw farm down range, but I feel like we don't have a choice there. Yeah, I think we're going to die Shadow Claws. I don't, I don't know that there's anything I could do there. I was hoping that would do less damage. Honestly, I was just hoping it would do less damage, but yeah. I think if we have no shield there, we just die anyway. Let's see if we could find a slightly better lineup or matchups for us. Polyrath. Okay. Okay. I think that's another favorable lead. And another Gengar. What is with the Gengars? Okay, that's a lot of energy. That's a lot of energy. Um, I think we're going to shield the first thing no matter what it is because of the fact that we also will get... Um, so there's a little there's a little server lag there um we're gonna get this the icy wind off anyway so and we do kind of want we kind of want switch advantage uh that was a weird sequence was it not <laughs> i don't know how they got uh that off but sure although see the punches don't do terribly much so even if they get to another punch i'm not that worried about it so like Polly can come back here, but we're gonna get to icy wind the Polly if it does. Yeah, there's definitely some server lag here. You can see it in the top left. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind. I mean, Gengar is a Gengar is a good mon. It's a little feast or famine, but it's a good mon. It got a shield out of me. That's the that's the annoying part, right? So we just kind of have to hope their their back mon is not particularly good against what we're doing. A nice punch here won't kill us, especially debuffed. Dynamic, also not going to kill us. And these mud shots don't do much, so... The downside is we get farmed, which is what I don't like. But I can't afford to switch because we really need to line up the Lapras and stuff here. Okay. Huh. So I think what we actually do here is let's go... Let's go Verizian. Let's throw a close combat. And then I'm going to Lapras. There's still enough. There should be enough switch timer here that this doesn't burn me terribly. And we know we know shield and stuff here because that Polyrath was going to blank this when the timer comes up. I really need to find a way to get shields out of the way here. I need I need some shields to start to start coming. And I need to I would like to save a shield for Verizian in the back, but like I definitely would rather have um the problem here is that uh they're gonna get another charge move here. We have a hard time farming this down with Verizian, but come on. They flash cannon me. Perfect. That doesn't kill me. That doesn't kill me. Although this is gonna get this is gonna start getting awkward if they just uh if they just shield this. Are we gonna get locked? Okay, they did not. I like that. So Polly comes in. That's fine. Just take the first move. I wanna find out what it is. So ice punch. Ice punch, okay. So how do we Be another ice punch. Be another ice punch. Be another ice punch. Okay. So I'm not taking much or anything from the uh from the the mud shots. And I actually don't think that um like I don't think they'll be able to kill me with mud shots. So I'm not worried about fast move pressure. What I'm worried about was opening the door to get dynamic punched. Because dynamic punch will, I think, just do more damage than ice punch here. I know it's super effective and stuff, but. So now we're racing to two charge moves. I think they're going to beat me to this, though. Because they're just faster. And I don't have a Mon to, uh... Yep, there's the second. <laughs> no, I can't. No, it can't, Coach K. No, it can't. This is why... This is one of the reasons why Verizian is bad. Right? It just doesn't do any of its jobs particularly well. 
Uh, I believe the next league is all leagues. Or no, it's uh, it's re it's retro. We haven't had retro cup yet, right? So we get a chance at I think it's master and retro. Is that what's is that what's next? I know retro is coming. Well, that is not a that is not a lead we like. That is the opposite of a lead we like. So let's go to one of our ice types. I. Okay, good. Crest is coming in, and we're actually in really good shape this time, as we win the race to the first charge move. If Cress is their if the Cress is their swap in here, that's very 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 good for us. Because we're favored in this matchup anyway, um, and that means we should be able to la line the Lapras up with their. Um, oh, they have Future Sight. They actually have Future Sight. Nice. Well, that certainly claps. Yes, I've seen two things that beat Verizian so far. Can we see something that doesn't? Yeah, DD is gonna definitely be in Retro Cup. You're gonna see a lot of a lot of defense DXs. Let's be real. Like a lot of defense DXs, like copious amounts. So they do, they just went straight Future Sight, which I don't think is a bad idea for them. And then things get a little dicey here. Like, the problem is I'm going to have to shield this move. Like, I, I need the switch advantage. So. But this means we get to icy win whatever comes in, unless it's the Tina with the charge move. Okay, well, Lapras is a bad, a bad beat for us to an extent. But, because we can't force a shield here. But at least Verizian has a matchup that it's like somewhat competent in, right? Although this energy lead is going to mean that Verizian probably can't win this fight. Because we're going to get ice beamed. <laughs> I can't afford to, uh, I can't really afford to, uh, no, like go down two shields now. Although we do have another, we do have another counter for this. My biggest concern now is they can just shadow ball me though, right? Straight up. Hmm. I think your priorities are the wrong place, Salmix, by the way. I feel like um Defense Deoxys access is a very different problem than Master League. Proper Master League access. <laughs> like I mean, you can have three level 50 Pokemon all you want, but like, I feel like there's a couple Pokemon that uh, it's going to be rough. Uh, how do we fucking, you know what? We have to do this. And DD is, I feel like DD is not the game breaking Mon that some of those Master League Mons are. All right, Cooking, have a good one, friend. Thanks for hanging out. I think a shield again. They did not. That's, that's a bad break for us. Although, okay, so their Lapras still has to try and kill us. It's going to be able to kill this Verizian here, but... Uh, Sableye is banned in retro because it is a dark type. I don't think we're going to be able to win this because they're going to be able to... Uh... Yeah, unless they surf us. Unless they surf us, which is what we kind of need them to do to think they can get away with the surf. Nope. Yeah, and then we're we're just in this matchup in a massive hole. Yeah, GG's. So how do you deal with with a variety of other things that counter DD, y'all? It's not like it's an unbeatable Pokemon that has no counters other than dark types. There are ghosts, for example, that beat it pretty handily. A number of them, in fact. But this was a charity step on Friday, so we have to play a whole set with Verizian lead. It's not, it's not, it's not cutting it. As, as we learned last time, Verizian is not cutting it. Yeah, with an energy and shield lead, it can beat a water type. Yeah, about that, about that. Swampert, hey, that's what Verizian is actually here for. It's what it's actually here for. What is Snorlax? 
in theory it's uh you know what we should have just stayed in what i don't know why i switched I i'm also just not like i i fucking hate it it has close combat fighting pokemon with only close combat for fighting damage are bad that's that's just plain and simple unless they have some other really 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 good move set um because like we can't throw the fighting move you can't throw the fighting move with two shields up <laughs> i think we're gonna lose this swap though that's that's the unfortunate thing i mean if it's reggie in the back we have play here but no galade has galade has stab confusion as a fast move not quick attack I would say that Gallade is a bad fighting type, generally speaking. That's the difference. We're gonna let we're gonna let this go, and we're gonna just. I think there's a pretty a pretty big difference there. But what we'll do here is we'll just we'll get in and we'll farm with quick attack. At least Verizian, Verizian is bulkier than I give it credit for. That is the one thing I keep forgetting, is that it is actually pretty bulky. Oh, is, is that really your bet? Oh, no. Okay, maybe, maybe we actually have a chance. Because if this is their best plan. Yeah, if it's, if it's Reggie in the back, then I can see, I can see why this is, this is the plan they, they put together. It is Reggie, okay. So that must be a uh, that must be like a content creator team or something. Let's just we're gonna we're gonna lead this. We're not gonna bait because I'm gonna throw this and I'm gonna switch. Okay, so now we got lots of shields in play. And like yeah, Flash Cannon doesn't do it. And they're going to have to start shielding the moves here. Okay, yeah, GG's. Hey, we got there. We actually, we found a team. We found a team where Verizian was good. Where they just were like, what do we even, what do we even bring in here? All right, Horst, Uwe, Kevin, let's do it. Last battle in the Verizian set. <laughs> uh, Goon, okay. Goon is a win. The question is, are they just like, what do they do? Like, do we just throw close combat because they're probably... They're probably not shielding? I mean, they should shield. I mean, Verizian literally won four of five leads this set. Like, no joke. But... I still feel a little bit. Oh no 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 no! Ah shit! I... Oh good okay. It did it did the right one. I thought I hit the uh, Articuno. I don't know if it corrected, but I really thought I hit Articuno there. Yeah, the blast burn definitely slap, but I think we're gonna take that. I don't think they get to another blast burn. I'm going to be very miffed if they do. Okay, perfect. I think Goon is coming back. We're just going to throw right away. This way we either CMP or... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if it's double fire, we're going to be in, we're going to be in trouble. If there's a Talon Flame on this team, for example, um, I'm a little bit... I'm going to be a little sad. Unfortunately, this all this farm up is pretty irritating for us, but. Oh, no, it's Venusaur. OK, well, smart play here. When it comes to simply eating this, they, they knew what our plan was, but I have bad news for our, our friend here. Uh, we're going to get sludge bombed is the only the only downside. Um, so I'm actually throwing uh, because I want the sludge bomb to do less. I would rather I don't want it. I don't want to use a shield if I can avoid it. And now we've got both of their shields and they shield. Yeah, we're now we just no shield.
Yeah, because the sludge bomb does kind of not very much now. And I can shield the second one, I guess. And that'll give us a very comfy farm down. Yeah, we'll shield one of them. So we got two. It looks like we're going to get two wins with the Verizian at the end of the set. They might switch here. And we're still not we're still not shielding the second one. YouTube vid con confirmed. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Depends on how desperate I am for YouTube videos at the end of this. Oh, 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 okay. You know, I have like two charge moves here. Or close to two charge moves here. What? Oh my god. How did we not get CMP at all on this one? If we lose this because of that. That was that was painful. Luckily, they're only on Night Slash, so we clean their clock. But like, I'm a little I'm a little miffed that we didn't get any of those. Oh, right. That Venusaur is still alive. They actually did switch out the Venusaur. Oh, thank God. I, you know, you know, 